Hi, welcome to the internet of shit and a new product I just got which I want to show you. You might remember four years ago I did this uh, Blab video, I'll link it in if you haven't seen it, DJI Pocket 2 camera registration bullshit. This is where um, you could not use this product unless you actually registered, like you downloaded the CCP spy app from DJI and then you uh, registered and put in all your details so they can data harvest everyone's details and then do God knows what with it. Um, and it just would not work unless you registered this. And apparently this is um, across all DJI products, I believe anyway. If it's not, leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, um, this is a complete and utter bullshit. This was four years ago. So I returned that pile of crap and I swore never to get a DJI product again. And sure enough, I was after a new action camera and there's really only three on the market. There's GoPro, of course, <laughs> the OG, and uh, there's DJI with their Action Cam 5 or whatever it is. And there's this new Insta360, um, sorry, it's back to front, um, Insta360 uh, camera and everyone raves about it. So I was looking for an upgraded um, action cam because GoPro has got a lot of issues they overheat, they um, lock up and do all sorts of, you know, ridiculous uh, things. And everyone raves about the Insta360 as the best uh, thing on the market, the Ace Pro 2. And, well, let's take a look at it. So here it is here. It's a very nice little bit of kit. I got it out of the box. I was really excited to try it out. Look at the uh, gigantic uh, touchscreen on it uh, compared to like, uh, the, this is my old GoPro uh, Hero 8 here, uh, but I think the new one's um, not much uh, bigger than that anyway. Um, this gigantic flip up screen like this, fantastic. It's got uh, a removable uh, lens cover on it just in case you um, scratch it. It's got a wind um, screen on the uh, mic and you know, it's waterproof of course and you know here's the box it's got it's 8k it's AI powered action cam the uh, sensor in it just blows the GoPro out of the water in terms of uh, low light performance the sensor's way better it's got like a some five nanometer bloody AI chip in it or something and yeah the low light performance is incredible and uh, basically everyone says that this thing um, blows the GoPro out of the water it's the best thing on the market and uh, like and they've got like a wireless mic with it and everything so I got the camera and um and like a cage and other uh, accessories uh, to go with it I was very excited about this bit of kit so I got it straight out of the box and I turned it on and this is what happens let's turn it on really excited oh English yeah no worries of course you've got to go uh, through the setup <laughs> Please download the Insta360 CCP spyware app in the App Store or Google Play to activate your camera. You can't even use this thing out of the box unless you actually, oh look, auto-rotating screen, unless you actually download um, their bloody app and enter in all your private details which they harvest and do God knows what with it, um, just to use the product out of the box. Unbelievable. At least that DJI piece of shit um, actually let me uh, use it five times. Actually, let me fully use it five times before I had to register. So it was like a trial wear. At, at least it gave me five uses out of the damn thing before I realized that I have to register it. This thing straight out of the box. I didn't, I thought this was just a DJI uh, specific thing. But no, no, a, another Chinese company doing this. GoPro don't do that, I believe, with the new GoPro Hero uh, 13. So no, no, this heat, this turd, this heap of crap is going back. I'm going to return this and you should not buy one of these things because all they want to do is harvest your bloody data. No, screw that. Send them a message loud and clear by not buying this. Yeah, so I'm going to return that so they can eat that in whatever uh, way um, that happens. And I'm, I have no option now because there's basically only three on the market. There's a GoPro Hero 13, which apparently still has the overheating issues and stuff. And, it's, and it doesn't have a flip uh, screen on it. It does have a removable lens uh, now, the uh, new uh, model. But yeah, it's got the smaller screen and my aging eyes can't, you know, if I'm out doing action stuff, I don't have my glasses with me uh, usually, so I can't uh, read the um, screen. I have trouble reading the screens on these things. Um, so, yeah, the bigger screen was also, and the flip 
capability. I was so looking forward to this thing. And it's low light performance, blows the, um, the latest GoPro out of the water. But I basically have no choice. It's either the DJI um, ransomware, it's either the Insta360 bloody ransomware, or it's the GoPro, which um, is basically a penny stock now. They used to have like 80% market share, and they've plummeted to like penny stock. Um, status and basically nobody buys them anymore. Um, come on, <laughs> they, they they still exist. Um, they're still making stuff, kinda. But yeah, apparently, um, no, they're just generations behind all the latest uh, action cams. But there's basically only three on the market, and this and the new GoPro. So I have to go with that. Um, but yeah, what a turd! Don't buy this rubbish. Send them a message. And ironically, just last week, I changed my profile picture down here to a Clippy. And a lot of people have been wondering, why did I change it to a Clippy? Well, I'll link in Lewis Rossman's video, so you have Lewis to thank for this. Um, change your profile picture to a Clippy. I'm serious. And he explains exactly this. If you're sick and tired of uh, corporations pushing this sort of bullshit on you, and he goes through a whole list of other uh, reasons why, but it's something like this, if you're sick and tired of of this then change your profile picture to a clippy go on do it now please seriously i did i changed my profile picture to a clippy let's see if it impacts my channel we'll find out anyway change if you're sick of this crap let them know by changing your profile picture to a clippy to send a signal that everyone understands what the hell you're doing so when they see that everyone in there whatever thing you're using has their profile picture set to a clippy They'll realize that, oh, they're onto us. They know that we're trying to screw them over by doing data harvesting, uh, not supporting right to repair, or not owning your product. They can't even use this stupid thing out of the box, exactly what it's uh, for, a camera. Just want to turn it on and shoot a video or take a picture. That's it. How hard is that? But no, they've got to force you to put in all your data that they can do God knows what with before you can actually use the product that you bought and paid for. It's complete and utter bullshit and I've had enough. So I'm going to return this turd to let them know I'm, I'm sick of this thing and don't buy this garbage. Don't buy Insta360, don't buy DJI or don't buy any other company's product that does this sort of crap. I'm sick of it. Anyway, I'll link in Lewis's video. It's very good. It's gone viral and everyone's changing their profile picture to a Clippy. And you might think, why Clippy? That's that annoying Microsoft Office uh, thing from the 1990s or whatever. Everyone hated that, didn't they? Um, yeah, they did. But the point is, is that Clippy just wanted to help. Clippy had no nefarious intention whatsoever. Clippy didn't want to harvest your data and hold you to ransom that uh, if you don't give us your data, you can't use the product that you bought and paid for. And Clippy represents a time where as, as bad as Clippy was back in the day, these days things are so bad that we'd rather go back to that time where um, Clippy was the only bad thing we had to worry about. Now you've got to worry about your privacy, your data, your, uh, your right to repair, bloody ransomware, and all sorts of things that bloody companies are doing, and Lewis explains it way better in his video, so watch that. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm sick of this crap. Don't buy uh, Insta360, don't buy DJI, and don't uh, buy a product from any company who holds you to ransom like this. Complete and utter bullshit. Change your profile picture to a clippy. Catch you next time. Hello.